just said that uh it just said there's a problem with my live quality but maybe that was earlier i don't know um hey what's up metatron peace thanks for joining much appreciated uh r grant 77 finally got my foia request back stating no records of my citizenship so are you saying that the u.s citizen was never created is that what you're trying to get a record of proof of because you could just dock it and not use it i mean you don't you don't have to go through all that you know it's like a it's like a lengthy process to try to get the the state's controlled property out of their system completely um and then even then if you do that at the end of the day if you still engage in for-profit public commerce you're going to be taxed or if you get pulled over you know you don't know how to handle yourself you can still get a ticket and all that stuff so what is uh like what's your end goal what's your end game our grant like that's you know because it sounds like you started learning from a process that somebody taught you to start start doing something um uh, our lady liberty our lady liberty i'm mailing out my notice of liability to the black card amex exciting day okay heck yeah so uh, you know my, some of my videos I, you know i say things but a lot of people can't put all the pieces together like the you know the legal system it doesn't matter what is truthful or right it's all about what you can prove you know and if you can prove fraud you're good even though i said all you know not all contracts are null and void that doesn't mean that you can't call them out on fraud you know the, that wasn't what i was making the claims about i did say that a lot of people want to say it's fraud when they're you know behind on payments but uh at that point you're like you're so deep in hot water it's hard to hard to get out of that of that um halito halito mimi I was, I was trying to read that properly i got like a whole new setup I got a standing desk like somebody was giving it away out in the hallway and I was just like walking by I'm like why not let's try it so I'm like I'm gonna try standing for this whole hour and see how I do but it gives me a lot more freedom I can you know I can dance a little bit stuff like that um I mean it's, it was it was decent I mean it had like a little overspray on it or something it's fine um still still learning brother I have my authenticated certificate of live birth I wish to be out of there so you're not in their system only the u.s citizen is even if you take it out of their system it's still just a corporation it'd be so much easier to just create a new corporation they have to have a corporation to interface with so no matter what at the end of the day unless you're living on your own allodial land and you're growing your own food and you have solar panels and you have well water and you're like pooping in a bucket like you're going to have to interface with the public and if and so to interface with the public you either need an entity to interface with them with or you need to create a new one so it's up to you how you want to do that or you have to use an agent if you're going fully 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 private you have to use an agent who uses a corporation to interface with the public that's what a lot of the elitists do they use agents that use agents so they're like they're like way down the line like you can't you got to go through like four mob bosses to get to even like the the the, the next agent that's closer so uh you trying to, yeah so you're not under their jurisdiction we just get fooled and confused by um thinking we are the u.s citizen and that's that's just typical uh when you start off on this journey you know a lot of us are confused and don't understand that a national is a corporation a person is a corporation uh a u.s citizen an individual and there's codes and statutes all by law um which brings me to one of my my topics that i want to talk about but um dance maybe an overstatement <laughs> yeah dance uh, interesting I will look into this well I can help you and I got playlists our grant and I suggest watching the playlist on my profile because it will help lay foundations that you can build upon you know that's kind of the whole thing that I'm doing here it's my whole my whole show you know so um, so what I was gonna get at is the codes and statutes that, that say all these things so last week I was mentioning a guy we were talking on one of my videos and he was he was very adamant on his position that humans have tax identification numbers and i was sending them all the public policies code statutes i was sending them all the law all the case law all the annotated statutes all this stuff and i eventually come to find out that this guy is an attorney he finally ends up saying that i'm an attorney so this this guy is an actual attorney that thinks that humans have tax identification numbers so I started off saying, once I found his attorney, I said, so you know that the United States cannot grant a title of nobility to, uh, according to the Constitution. And he was like, oh, that's, uh, that's, 
Yeah, that's old school. I don't, I don't care what it what it used to be. I care what it is now. I'm like that's that's the foundation. Like a a title of nobility, a, a an attorney, an esquire means shield bearer from from back in the day. That's what it was brought from England over here too. So we ended up going uh, back and forth, but. Then I, you know, it finally dawned on me, and I was like, I was like, look, you are, you were taught by a bankrupt corporation certain codes and policies and procedures for protocols, and then that's it. Like, and then it's like, it's like, look, all of the public education system programs are tailored to, um, you know, basically miseducate and 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 teach the people who paid for the funding in a certain way. When it comes to hospitals, I'll be honest. The only thing I really kind of trust them with would be surgeries. Like if you get a broken bone or you need something done, like surgically, I, I think you, you're kind of okay in that area. But they are literally taught to not heal anything. They are taught to prescribe basically petroleum-based products that will never cure anything. It just continues to um, create more problems and all that stuff. And doctors are waking up to some of this stuff. but. When it comes to doctors, when it comes to attorneys, when it comes to teachers, their hands are bound and they are indoctrinated because they are taught in a certain manner in a certain way from the people that funded their programming and their education system want them to be taught a certain way. So I'm sitting there telling him, I'm like, look, let's start at the basics, all right? The United States is a corporation, 28 U.S.C. 3002, section 15A. And he was like, yeah. That just shows me that you don't know how to read statutes, and that's only for that chapter. And so I was like, okay, let's look what the chapter says. So we go up to the top of the title, 28. You know what the title is about? It is about everything, everything banking. So basically, the, the U.S. government is a, is a corporation for mortgages, securities, exchanging, Federal Reserve notes, loans, like everything about banking. So I was like, okay... Okay, so we'll take your position that the U.S. is not a corporation except for only this chapter, quote unquote. So I was like, tell me one thing that isn't backed by funding. Tell me one thing that is not funded out there in the U.S. that the U.S. does. Because everything's banking. Everything's money. Everything's funded. You know, the, the U.S. is a corporation. Anyway, he, he eventually ended up, um, like, stop kind of talking and uh, basically you know went about it but that that was that was wild to me that i eventually found out that's why he was going so toe to toe to me so far he was tagged in my video and i found out that he was attorney hey daydream believer how you doing uh mer 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 mama mer mama graphene hydroxide and nanoparticles are in anesthesia now Ooh, dr nixon has filmed ah that sucks yeah they're trying to get it in us every way possible and, and my understanding is it's also in the uh like the chemtrails and that's why i tried to keep chemtrails out of the vegetables that i was growing i built a greenhouse i built all this stuff and then it just got so hot in there that i had to open up all the windows and let all the air out so stuff still getting in i was just like i was filtering my water to get all the fluoride out it's like at the end of the day it's like there's so many poisons. Like you gotta live at peace and in harmony, and just kind of know we're all gonna die anyway. So it was just, it was like fighting a losing battle. I was trying to fight nature, like trying to keep um, freaking air out of there, like the normal air. Um, com Mimi, compulsory. Yep. Uh, Veronica, the Maxwells, Glenn Maxwell. Uh, Veronica, yeah, I actually got something to maybe chat with you about. I just got off the phone with somebody recently, and it was some um, kind of stuff that you are involved in. So you, you came to my mind eventually after I was thinking about some other things of how to help this uh, this person. So I'm not going to disclose much, but it's um, it's it's uh, involved in uh, some of the stuff that the elites do that um, is very well documented and kind of sucks. Um, oh, so... So a couple, couple other things happened. So, I check this out, y'all. You ain't gonna believe this. I was helping this guy f from April. I was helping this guy since April, and this guy was bringing me. Like I, I help everybody. I do my best to help everybody the best I can. This is why I don't give legal advice. I give lawful guidance. Right? Check this out. I was helping this guy since April. He was sending me all kinds of things. He's like, I got this case, you know, I got this, how, you know, car this, uh, you know, this, that, 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 and the other since April. Bunch of different topics. And in my mind, it didn't even dawn on me. I was like, this guy has got a lot of weird issues going on. Like, uh, you know, I was trying to help him with all kinds of things, you know, give him some guidance. Um, 
and there was times when I was drunk, you know, and I was making statements and not questions all this out. But check this out. Check this out. I had a video that was up since um, March. I mean, this show has been up since eight months. Uh, so it's been up over eight months. I told the guy, he was like, do you have any, he said, do you have any court case rulings on traveling? I was like, yeah, just Google Supreme Court travel. And I was like, you'll find, you'll find so much rulings and information on it. And then I said, like a moron, you know, but I didn't think any better. I said, I have a video on traveling if you want to watch it. Next thing I know, within a minute and a half of telling him that, the video gets a community violation. And it had been up for eight months. And in my mind, I was sitting there thinking, wow, this dude is a federal agent. He's, he's either a cop or a federal agent and just tried to build a case on me since freaking April, trying to get me to give legal advice. And then he saw my video on traveling and was like, this is too much good information, reported it, and then freaking it got community violated. And then I tried to, then I'm trying to talk to TikTok. I'm like, look, I spend money on your platform. I have followers that I'm helping. I'm just giving educational uh, information. I even state on all my videos that it is for entertainment purposes. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, give me, give me a community guideline that I violated so that I don't do it again. Don't, so I don't ever do it again. Nothing. I ain't hearing nothing from them. So I'm going to keep, uh, going back and forth with them or maybe not I uh, might just repost it again but it sucks because that was one of my great videos it had been duetted like 70 times it had been shared like two, you know 2500 times and like it, it was a very very good video but there you go so I was freaking helping an agent you know for you know since April like golly and then he was, I even mentioned it, I was like, wow, somehow uh, immediately after I told you to watch my video, it became a, a community guidelines violation. And he was like, I, uh, I love your content. I have no reason to report it. And then I look, I started looking back because I was like, crap. So I started scrolling back since April, very beginning. And I'm like, what did we talk about? What did we talk about? Yeah, I'm going to repost it, Anthony. But I wanted to make sure. And some of the stuff was kind of on the line, like when I'm sh I was sharing, you know, codes and stuff, and I made a couple statements. But it, you know, if he's got it, it'll be a very weak case. But still, I was like, golly, you know, I can't believe I've been helping this dude out try to build a case on me for freaking. And that's like, what what a good way to build a case. Like find somebody who's trying to help, you know, for free, and just try to start getting them to talk and all this stuff. And then I, it was wild when I remember when I look back at our whole conversation, I look. He never like laughed once. He never just said LOL or like like if I was trying to trick somebody, I would be like all all into what they're saying. You know, like you, if you're gonna infiltrate somebody, like you gotta be one on one. You gotta be buddies. But this dude never like LOL once. Never like nothing. Uh, he just I think he was just sh kept trying to shoot like legal stuff at me, trying to give trying to get me to give legal advice. And I was like, you know, I was like, I'm not holding your hand. Like I'm not I'm not doing this stuff. Um, I will. It was my traveling versus driving video. Because I told him I have two videos on on traveling, and that video was pretty good because it, it, it laid a lot down. It basically said that the you know the police are our servants. You know you got to be kind and polite and peaceful and stuff like that. Um, but I you know I'll get it back. So uh, did I miss anything previously? It hurts, uh, Sean Handler. It hurts when you find out you spent half of your life paying for an education for slaves. Yeah, it does, you know. And I'm uh, I'm actually dating someone who's in college, and I was looking at some of the material, and it was like, I remember, I remember going through it, and they're just they pump you full of indoctrinated false narratives, false history, false teachings because they want you your horse blinders on, drowning in information that you have to regurgitate. Sign your name at the top of the paper. Don't read the contract. Sign the name first. Here's, here's all these dates and events that you have to remember. And they're all false. They're all fictitious dates and events that happen. And, and, they're, and they're make you repeat them um, until you, like, get indoctrinated. Like, you know. And then I'm, I'm, and I was telling her, I'm like, yeah, I remember school. It's, you know, you got a, a, a whole ton of information that you're being shoveled nonstop that you have to repeat, which you will only use 2% out of, like, some of the classes for your actual life. You know, and then you're stuck with all this college debt. Then you've got all these bills and stuff you got to pay. You know, and it's like 
it's a terrible game. So, you know, our, our education system is funded by people that don't want us to be joined in unity or have the truth and the knowledge and the life of the light of what, like, spirituality is, how to really heal, how, how corporations work, like, none of this stuff. The, um, the lawyers, same thing. They are taught in a certain way to basically get a U.S. citizen under public jurisdiction and then fleece them and then send them out because their duty is to the public and then to the court and then to the client. It's like a one, two, three. And same thing with doctors. And, and like I said, there's a lot of them that are waking up and they're sitting there saying like, wow, we're not actually taught how to heal. We're not taught how the body heals. And being a doctor takes a lot of studies. It takes tons of studies. And it's all, well, most of it's false, you know, because at the end of the day, Every doctor's like, well, here you got to take this medicine. Here you got to take this medicine. It's a petroleum-based product that gives you more problems than it solves, you know, and it doesn't ever cure anything. Like, they haven't cured anything for, you know, 100 years, not in the public, like, because it's not profitable. It's all about profit. That's why I don't like for-profit systems. Um, did I miss anything else? Yeah, Max Lane's uh, repost it. I will, please. Yep, yep, yep. Secret. Uh, Mimi, secret calls, doorbell visits with stupid questions. What? For you? Or are you talking about for me? Uh, text to make me answer to Strongman. Oh, have you been have you been getting into some some issues, Mimi? They come after me constantly. Oh yeah, I remember you had some 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 law issues or whatever, and I know you were doing something. Maybe we can we can DM or something. Uh, operate in peace and hot honorably. Yes, 100% our grant all the time. Daydream believer, right? I was taking law courses and it was all indoctrination. Yes, Deidre, everybody, if you if you want this this woman is amazing. Anybody check her out, check her page out. Like I'm vouching, all, absolute awesomeness. Like much love and appreciation, Deidre believer. Um, she's she's official. Anybody wants to check her out, talk to her. It's, uh, she's amazing. Um, our grant. My high school teacher said. Always remember history is written by by the victors. Yes, it is. That is 100% true all day long. Yep. And that's and that's the truth about anything. Even my last video, I said you can control what you create. So guess what? If you want to create an education system, even if you federally uh, register, well, I, I wouldn't do that because then you're you're bound by certain things. But um, you won't be taxed if you're doing education or science to try to help humanity out. Like that's what I'm doing. I'm not I'm not taxed for helping for this, but. Um, if you if you're gonna if you're gonna educate the public, if you're paying for it, you get to kind of dictate what's going on. And back in the day, with the Rockefellers and stuff, who spent more money on education than the federal government did, and I'm talking like 80 billion dollars, like to to start up the education system, right? The federal government didn't pump that out, but the Rockefellers did, and they got to d decide who's on the board of directors of all these schools, and guess who controls what. The company does the board of directors. So if you got if you got pulled on the board of directors, then you can dictate what that company does no matter what. And that's the worst thing about the for profit and basically people that operate over, over greed is because you can be the best employee ever, and I've seen it happen. You can show up early, leave late, work hard, have a great attitude, and if some some guy up in the boardroom who doesn't know you, your mama, your family, nothing can just go fire ten people, and then they're just, they're gone, you know. And, and it don't matter who you are. It's just because like, oh yeah, we got to cut back a little bit because I want to I want a bigger bonus because I want to stuff my turkey with diamonds this year instead of you know so souffle or something like some, something weird you know and that's what kind of sucks about dictatorships and having the pyramid hierarchy of um corporation for profit now i like this hierarchy when you're coming from peace and love and spirit at the top that's this is this is a triangle that is really laid flat you know um but it is true that you know the spirit is the highest is the is the is the form and that's why i say keep your head in equity keep one foot on the land and one foot in admiralty because you got to embody it all to be truly sovereign you have to know how all jurisdictions work and how to operate through all of them all the time and i'm not a master of all of them at all i'm just i'm just you know kind of like a jack of a lot of this stuff uh thanks for the follow boy scout uh head mondo Pre-trial monitoring is a violation of my rights. Uh, yeah, you as the human's rights, but not your U.S. citizen. Your U.S. citizen only has benefits and privileges to engage inside of a casino. And when you're inside of that casino, you've got to abide by the casino's rule. you got to use their funny money. you got to use their machines. You probably can't come in with you know, certain equipment and stuff like that. you got to abide by the U.S., uh, you know, the United States casino's rules. And your U.S. citizen has had a judgment 
uh, ledgered against them. And it's a benefit and privilege to use the, the public court system. Uh, it's not for the private. Now, we can use it in the private, too. You just got to know how to, how to invoke things. Um, DAOs are the future. What the heck is a DAO? A DAO? User 559-238041074? What is, what is a DAO? Um, our grant. Thanks for the follow. Boy Scout. Law, land, air. Land, air, and water. That's right. Absolutely. That's the three. That's the, that's the trifecta. Um, but it has a lot more meaning to it between you know, equity, common law, and international. You know, between water, air, and land. Uh, the trust triangle, it's, it's, uh, it's really, it's deep. It goes deep, and, and, and it flips. So when the, when the enemy tries to make nature seem like it's uh, a positive, when it's really a negative, you know, like we get, we get it flipped all the time um, to putting, putting nature up top. Um, thanks for the, please tap the screen, likes, follows. So I'm, I'm using a standing desk for the first time. Try, um, it's been 25 minutes in. I usually don't just stand in one spot forever. Uh, thank you, Alexandronia, for the earth, and Veronica for the chilies. Uh, actually, thank you nine times for the earth. I much, much appreciated. Um, thanks for all your gifts. They will be used to enlighten others. Uh, much appreciated for any of the s subscriptions or likes, follows, all the shares, all the all the gifts, all that. I'm here for y'all. Want to help educate? So, I'll tell y'all about another crazy. Well, let's see. Boy Scout. I'm a natural Texan. Yes. Yeah, so you want to be a, a, a f claiming the the Republic of Texas? Um, you're you're a human that can be in the Republic of Texas. Um, but everybody's tricked into operating into the commercial realm, which is a corporation, which is like the two-letter abbreviation TX and uh, Texas State um, was different than st the state of Texas. They're all different, like, entities. All right, so this, this chain reaction, it sucked. I... Uh, uh, had I, mean, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I like I went I went past a column in a freaking tight parking spot and somehow totally forgot the column was there and like barely barely nicked it. I'm talking about barely nicked it. Like it was it was such a barely nick that I had to put like a drop of uh, white out on it just from the paint. Like it wasn't that bad, but it pushed it pushed my fender just enough to where it touches my door. So when I opened my door, it sounds like a goose. It was sounding like a goose. It was like, and I'm like, oh. So I started like wedging the fender back with a piece of wood or whatever, and I was good. Then next thing I know, I guess over the course of two months, somehow, rain somehow got in my headlight, and then it's then it all shorted out. So now I got like an out, like this whole chain of reactions from this tiny little this tiny little bump on the column. I was like, ah, dang, man. So now I'm waiting on a new headlight, and it's uh, it's not even US dot approved because I didn't even know that was something that I was supposed to to, to try to get. Um, because uh, I went through Rock Auto. I will never go through Rock Auto again, man. I looked on their prices like gosh, God. I I looked up the price of the headlight for my car, and it was nine hundred and eight hundred dollars. I was like, that's a freaking plane ticket to Paris what why is it a $900 freaking light I was like I just got moisture in my light like that's it like what in the world $900 so I found one on eBay a lot cheaper then I found out it's not freaking US dot approved and I could have got it off of Amazon for like another 10 bucks more or something and it would have been US dot approved but that's my car is registered I wish it wasn't but it is registered and I gotta kind of buy by the trust rules Sam thank you for the rose much appreciated your gifts will be used to help others. Uh, I'm here to help y'all, by the way. I'm here to set this time up to help everybody. Oh, they don't have any customer service. Um, I've never had to deal with customer service. I have had to try to return wipers because their their whole layout sucks. Like the way to try to use their website is super hard to try to navigate. And I guess I got the wrong wipers for the wrong year of the wrong cars. I, I don't know. So I tried to send them back, and it was, you know, it was just like a nightmare. But I've never tried to. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, headlights are crazy expensive. Five hundred dollars. Yep. So I ended up finding mine for two, two hundred and thirty or something on on eBay, and it was like two hundred thirty-eight on Amazon. And I wish I'd have gone through Amazon. It would have taken a little bit longer, I think. But anyway, it's, it is what it is. But when I went to, it said it didn't come with a headlight, like uh, a bulb. So I went to Advanced Auto, and they say, yeah, the bulb was like like thirty-eight dollars or something. And I'm like, good gosh, I'm like a thirty-eight dollar bulb, and uh. 
He was like, yeah, some of these bulbs are $150. I was just like, I wanted to like drop my keys on the counter and walk out. Cause I'm like, this is, that's wild. Could you imagine spending $150 for a light bulb? Just like for, for a tiny little light bulb. It's like, goodness gracious, it's all a scam. And then you go to these, these used car lots and they're selling cars for $1,500. And I'm like, I'm about to spend a thousand dollars on a headlight and I could buy a whole new car for a freaking one of these things out here. It's like it's just all it's all a racket. All of it. Same thing with like the college system when you when you gotta buy books. I remember when I was in college and what they would do every single uh, year or two is they would change a few words and they claim that there's new information coming out and they're changing you know, like whatever. You could use almost the same exact book, but they would rearrange words and whatever, and then you'd have to buy a whole new book or rent one. But a whole new book is like 300 bucks or 200 bucks, and it's like $200 for this stupid thing, and you have to have it for the class, or you cannot go to the class. It's all a racketeering. Like, it's such a scam, and everybody's falling for it. Everybody pays for it. A lot of people won't even look at you like I've, I've walked into people if you don't they called it a sheepskin back in the day if you didn't have that that uh, 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 title of basically proof that you've gone through college they won't even talk to you they think they, they look at you like you ain't even educated enough to freaking talk to them and I'm like if you only knew the stuff that I have studied oh my goodness like I, I I didn't like history in high school then when I started learning how the true history was all about corporation and greed and company mergers and uh, uh, hostile takeover and stuff like that it was like it was awesome it was like I felt like I had all this secret knowledge and learning about the truth you know and it was like wow I didn't I, I didn't really at first feel bad about all the education that I had learned in the past I was just so excited that I finally started finding the truth you know then later I was kind of like oh my gosh I can't believe I was taught all this stuff but when I was in school I didn't see you later our grant I didn't even want to I didn't even want to, to to stay in there like I took a class so I could get out and work early like I just didn't want to uh, do my research on DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations. That sounds like is that AI stuff? Um, I can I can check it out. DAOs. That is new to me. I think with this new setup, I can actually type better now too. Let's see, decentralized. Would you call it autonomous? Autonomous organization. <clears throat> I can actually speak about the future of online cooperation. Hey, I'll check it out a little later. It looks like I got to do a little more reading then. Uh, it's an emerging form of legal structure that has no. I think I think uh, my friend mentioned this to me a while back. Maybe not. Decentralized time is an emerging form of legal structure that has no central governing body and whose members share a common goal to act in the best interest of the entity. That's kind of that sounds kind of neat. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I've, I've looked into a couple different structures. Now, this one this one is a new one. I have not heard of that one. <clears throat> I finally, I, PMA. Okay, okay, Metatron. That's actually what I was about to talk about is a PMA. So I've lear I learned a little more about it. I've heard about it, <clears throat> and I found out some things about it. So it's pretty cool. And it's cool because it basically reflects everything that I'm telling you all, which is basically if you're going to be engaged in for-profit public commerce, there's a tax liability. A PMA is an unregistered organization that basically – can trade, barter, borrow, receive donations, and all that stuff with no tax liability, and it's sheltered, and it's it's basically you're creating an entity that is outside of U.S. jurisdiction, and you're good, right? You're good as long as you don't engage in for-profit public commerce in a federal zone or just for-profit commerce, you're good. So that uh, the person I was talking to that was teaching me about the PMA a little bit. I told them about the corporation soul. I said, have you ever heard about a corporation soul? And they were like, no. I was like, your PMA sounds almost exactly like the corporation soul structure before you create the corporation soul. So a corporation soul, in order to create one, you have to have two or more entities with like or similar spiritual beliefs. That's it. Just two people that have spiritual beliefs. And then y'all can elect to create this corporation soul. And then the corporation soul actually becomes the, the governmental head body over it. And this is one of the only, if not the only entity that I know of by statute that is recognized all over, all over the world that if um, even though you register it to them, it, it, they don't have control over it because in their codes and statutes, it is recognized that a sovereign created it, not the state. So a corporation soul is, is a corporation and it is registered. But as long as you don't gain, engage in like for profit commerce, you're good. But what's different about the corporation soul 
is it has uh, all of the power that a municipal government has. It is basically a shield of protection over over top. Like if you put it on top of a PMA, it is basically like the shield blanket. You're basically just registering to the, the government, letting them know who a person of contact is for that entity that can um, engage in treaties if there's ever any like liabilities out in the public and like just giving them a person of contact basically and like you know that's it you don't you don't register any of the of the private associations um, documents or, t or anything you just just the corporation soul so it's a very very unique uh, unique entity but again if you're going to deal with Federal Reserve notes you have to understand the limited liability of not engaging in for-profit commerce but what's cool about it is if you had a corporation soul and and I had a corporation soul um, if your US citizen can earn a paycheck and pay taxes on it and then donate the proceeds into a corporation soul it can also receive donations and barter and trade exchange but once all those funds are in the corporation soul there uh, is no limit of how much or where funds can transfer. Like, I could send $200 billion to another corporation sold, and the federal government can't get involved because there's no limit of fund transfers. So that's like a cool thing about a corporation sold, too. Uh, I'm going to make a video on it uh, probably pretty soon, but it, uh, I thought that was a pretty cool. Uh, DOAs will outperform corpse. Yeah, I believe it if it's got like... AI or something. It just sounds like a. It, it sounds like a cool blockchain thing. You know, I'll, I'll check it. I'll read about it a little bit. Like I, I don't really mess with cryptocurrency because I don't know what's going to happen with. Uh, it looks like we're going to go to some type of digital thing. Um, my my pres presumption is I think the BRICS nations uh, currency is basically going to be the one that kind of takes over. Um, yes, Freemasonry is a PMA. Churches, some churches are PMAs, but a lot of them like. The, the King of England, that's a corporation soul. The corporation soul is a one-seat person. It is, it is basically an office. It is called the office of a corporation soul, and one person fills that seat, and someone is a successor. And there's no need for uh, minutes. There's no need for tax, uh, no taxes, no like reporting, none of that stuff. And what's cool about a corporation soul is the IRS actually has to give you notice if they want to try to file an audit. Like normally when you're dealing in their system, they can just come audit you. When you're dealing with a corporation soul, the IRS has to give you notice and kind of and request for, for permission and have a reason, a liable reason uh, for to do a tax audit. So if they don't have that and, and you can prove it, then they can't even do a tax audit. Like you, you're like kick rocks, man. Even if even though you're engaged in Federal Reserve notes, so I thought that was so cool that that was kind of set up the way it is. But the the, the King of England, that's corporation soul um, stuff like that. A lot a lot of those uh, monarchs back in the day used them and stuff too. But it's just uh, it's old school technology, and they try to hide all this cool stuff, like all all the stuff that. Um, can kind of set you free when you're doing business. Like they hide all that stuff. Like you can't. It's hard to Google and find really good information on Corporation Soul. Um, but I have I have a lot of that on my website, so I can help some people out. Uh, so pretty much, it's devil worship. S M O three one. What what are you talking about? With what's devil worship? Uh, Veronica, I don't want to be governed by AI. I, I don't want to be governed by them in, but we're pretty being we're already being monitored. Like if you ever watched the video of what Google can track when your phone's even on airplane mode, if you saw what all the cameras were capturing all your face and data, like everything you do on anything that's connected to the internet, like we all have digital twins that like Google has created to try to sell us more stuff. That's what they they claim, quote unquote. But it's really about uh, tracking everybody. Like we we all have like little digital twins of everything that we do somewhere it's being stored and they track all of our whereabouts where we're going everybody's got a cell phone now if you don't have a cell phone you should be somewhat out of the grid but almost everybody has a cell phone and that sucker is a chip that tracks you all day long like you everything you do even if it's on airplane um Oh, Dogecoin, uh, SM Dogecoin is getting pretty good right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't mess with cryptocurrencies. Like, it's all, it's just not. I, I, I'm good with the the, the modern means of conveyance for the. Uh, uh, that's basically what we use as a medium of exchange. Federal Reserve notes is a medium of exchange, and 
most of it's already digital anyway. What is it, 95% digital now anyway? We're already in a digital society. When a military takes over a territory, first thing they do is get rid of the truth, and then they get rid of the currency. And they get rid of the currency because they want to track where all funds are going in case someone's trying to build up ammunition and um, position against them. So all of our transactions are already being categorized. Last time I did taxes for the straw man, which was last year, I remember I could just import all of my banking, like click, click, boom, boom. And it had already categorized everything into like sections. Like it's it's already all tracked and being categorized, monitored, and, and data is being gathered like constantly. Uh, uh, economics for whoever's up top like can look at everything on a, a health level of how the economy is doing. Uh, Metron is related to the self-sovereign identity theory. Um, what What is the the PMA or Freemason? Oh, oh, you're talking about the corporation soul. Yeah, that's why they hide that kind of stuff because they, like I said, they don't want to know anything about it. Uh, SM, the triangle behind you, what does it mean? I know what it looks like. The triangle behind me is something that I drew uh, when I was bored at work like nine years ago. And it was I was trying to figure out how to put nature, spirit, and commerce into a triangle. And then I started figuring out that everything's kind of tied to it when it comes to the judicial, the legislative, the executive, uh, nature, spirit, and commerce, land, air, water, international. Uh, and then we all have three bodies, too. We have a natural body, a spiritual body, and a commercial body, the straw man, because we have to have some type of entity to interface with the public with. And it's a positive, negative, uh, and neutral. There's, like, it's, it's the three. It's the three that govern everything. And as Metatron was mentioning, we're in, we're in the middle um, with love and fire, like, in the center of this whole thing that, that branches out from us. Like, and it's all about your, your commercial... Uh, karma that determines everything like who you are out in the world like what you do with your commerce so that's what this is um i have a lot of videos that uh I explain about all the stuff uh user doas become tokenized and that's what crypto is the dollar is the united states corp token around yes i understand that but the dollar is not just a token it is the world's reserve currency and i know it is bankrupt it is dead but it is someone else's property and that's why Whenever you use it, especially like even on a contract, you're, you're, you're using someone's property. And guess what? The person that owns that property says it's worth something. You could do the same thing. I could hand you a pen and I could say that this pen is worth $7 million and I give it to you. And if you accept it, we just created a contract and I can memorialize that. And if you lose that or mess that that pen up, I can I can take you to court over that, that $10 million claim like or whatever I said it was. I don't even remember. Uh, Metatron, that sounds like jibber jabber to me. <laughs> what in the world, Veronica? Uh, it was a joke. You were talking about souls. Oh, corporation soul. So not not S O U L. So a corporation soul is spelled S O L E, uh, not not S O U L. Uh, I'm a marine. Sense of humor is a little different. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. No worries. Uh, thanks for thanks for joining. I think you're very interlude will be governed by AI regardless of what you want. Well, humans aren't governed by AI. What happens is we give up benefits and privileges for using platforms like, hey, I, I posted a video with a young lady and they didn't like that I used ASAP Rocky's beat, right? Because ASAP Rocky's Beats Corporation says, hey, you're not allowed to use that on TikTok. Well, guess what? TikTok is a federally registered corporation and I'm using the benefits and privileges of, okay? So I'm kind of bound by what they can allow and not allow. I could le take legal actions if I claim that there's monetary damages and fight my tooth and nail and probably eventually get stuff done if I wanted to, but pick your battles, right? Everything that you play in or out of, you got to know who controls that which you are messing with to understand the rules of the game. And that's why I always try to break, break things down to its simple fundamentals. Um, Oh, digital twins is the s Satan. Yeah, it sounds like a. It's it's just a. Uh, you know, you you could say that. I, uh, what I say, you know, the natural light is is L Lucifer. If you watch my videos, this natural temporary light for this temporary body that is just a vessel. It's not the true light. It, we're all deceived into thinking that this natural body is the truth, and it's not. It's false. This is the false light realm. This, the, the natural body. The spiritual body is the true light. That's the true life. The eye of unity, the pineal gland. That's that's the real, the real truth. Metatron. What's funny is that digital identity is being pushed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The whole thing just jumped real far. Uh, where are we at? Metatron. 
What's funny is that digital identity is being pushed like it's something new. Yeah, it's old tech. They've been doing like so. A lot of this stuff that the public uh, is being brought to light about. They've been doing this stuff in the private for so many years. Of like uh, when they did Operation Paperclip and they brought all the Nazi scientists over and they our, our space program, program at the U.S. suddenly started booming and we have rockets and stuff like that. And they've had uh, f- uh, levitation devices and free energy and zero point, but they don't release that stuff to the public because they want the public to continue to be monitored and they want the public to continue to be uneducated in a box because that's the last thing that you want your worker bees to do is be very well educated critical thinking people that can think out of the box and join in unity because if we joined in unity we would be like unstoppable unstoppable and that's the last thing that the people that are controlling the monopolies in this natural light realm want they don't want us being joined in unity so that's why they hide a lot of the knowledge they change the education systems they hide the history they change you know they they constantly throw out new uh scary tactics to try to keep you in fear on the media and like keep pushing for oh in order to be happy you've got to have sex with this hot girl you've got to buy this clothes or you've got to buy this car like it's all about commerce like when i talk to people that come over here from other countries like egypt and stuff like their their parents are old school and they're like there's nothing to do in the u.s but buy stuff like it's just it's all set up as like a consumer freaking monopoly game where it's like you've got to buy 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 all day long here's this deal here's this discount come over here like here's reward points like you know on and on and on it just never ends all about that money all about that money all right uh the thing just jumped again um Thanks for the info on the corporation's soul. It's intriguing. Yeah, so guys, this live will be on YouTube if you want to watch it again. My social media links are on my website, on my profile page of TikTok. I also tell people on Telegram when I'm going live. Uh, You can join that. My audio of this live will be on Telegram and all the other social medias. I have a lot of free information on my website. I have playlists to help re-educate everybody. A lot of people are fed a lot of false information, and they start going down the wrong rabbit trails. And, and it sounds good, and it sounds easy, and it's just it's full of garbage. So, um, Metatron, no different than paper identification and round. Yeah, that sounds about right, you know. But there, you know, when when you're dealing with the, the commercial body, a digital body is kind of a commercial body. It's just like a different type of um, electrical signal, right? So it's 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 the commerce tries to mimic uh, one of these like all the time, even though you know it's just a medium of exchange. So. That's 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 where like AI can come in and try to be God or you know stuff like that like so you got to be careful when dealing with your commerce like everything's about commerce nothing can happen without it so that's why it's like you got to be very careful with with that type of stuff. Uh, crypto is taking a backseat to Dogecoin. Uh, Doge, are you saying Dogecoin is not a cryptocurrency? I thought uh, Dogecoin was a cryptocurrency. Uh, User, you have no understanding of how AI is going to trade energies and values crypto. Yeah, because I don't care about cryptocurrency. That's why I don't know anything about it, because I don't deal in that ever. Like, I never, ever deal in dealing in digital money other than what the everybody, 99.9% of the world uses. If they switch over, then yeah, then I'll learn it. But until then, like, I'm, I'm good. There's a fight over the money right now. And I doubt Dogecoin is going to come on top as the world reserve currency. If you want my honest opinion, I do not think Dogecoin is going to trump the earth as the reserve currency that everybody's going to use, right? So guess what? That means when the one emerges at the top, Dogecoin is going to go boobs up, freaking in the dirt, like worthless immediately, you know? And in one sense, a lot of people look at those digital cryptocurrencies and in their mind they're so indoctrinated they use US dollars to give it value so they'll be like oh yeah I'm trading uh, 658.93 doge coins and that's worth uh, 700 bucks 700 US dollars it's like no it's not no it's not it's it's worthless <laughs> it's like it's a digital freaking token that you're trading and hoping that somebody will take and if they do cool but guess what at the end of the day that's actually what uh, medium of exchanges are it's all about offer and acceptance. Like, if I offer you this pen and you take it, like, for me, you know, if I say I want you to, like, comb my hair, brush my teeth or whatever, and, you know, all I got is this pen and you take it, we just contracted. Like, you accepted that for value. Like, you you know, it's good. At the end of the day, if people accept Dogecoin and Dogecoin accepts or, you know, you can trade in it or whatever, do that. Barter and trade and exchange. I know the IRS is starting to request all digital currencies uh, that you trade and monitor and make money off of now, which is, that's kind of new, like the last year or so. Uh, is Elon, Veronica, is Elon Musk, 
is Elon Musk is behind it, and I'm not interested. Well, so think about it like this too. And same thing with Bill Gates because I've, I've had, uh, you know, oh my goodness, with the with the juice, but um, it's all about business. A lot of things are about commerce and profitable. So a lot of people think that the plant-based burgers are, you know, evil, and you know, yes, especially if they're putting in that poison in it and stuff like that. But a lot of it's just about business, business moves, and making business decisions and making profit. Because at the end of the day, that's all that corporations care about is the bottom dollar and making money. So if Elon endorses something, it could be a hidden agenda, or it could just be a good business move by somebody who paid him to do it, or you know, he's trying to make money off of it or whatever. That's why you gotta, you know, kind of be careful at what position you take on certain things because some people's motives aren't uh, truly, you know, revealed unless you watch them. Because it's a lot easier to somebody will tell you who they are uh, or show you who who they are better than they can tell you. Um, American three one four Supreme. So who would? So who would be the member of the corporation? So oh, maybe I already explained that. Yeah, correlate. So, the, so what it is is the uh, the corporation soul is a is is it's classified as a church or a religious society, but I say a, a, a spiritual unity, a body of unity, where where just you and somebody else um, comes together with the same spiritual belief, and then y'all can elect to create that office. The the spiritual body can elect to create the corporation soul, and then that's how it, how it's created. You have to have the society first, and again. By the IRS's definition, a society can be two or more people, and it has to have the same religious or spiritual beliefs, and then that has to be created first. You can't file the corporation soul and then create the society. You have to have the society first, then they can elect to create the corporation soul, and then you basically have a government. And that's and that's what I suggest to some people if that's what you want. You know, it's it's a good good way to do business. Um, yeah, they sold us out. You're very smart, bro. I encourage you to use your gift to look forward, forward to the future. I, yeah, I, I will. I have. Trust me, I've, I've done a lot of thinking. I appreciate that, user 559203581. Again, at the end of the day, if you get what you want, you know, and you're happy, like that's awesome, for real. Like that's that's all that matters. If you're if you're getting what you want from what you're doing and you're happy, at, you know, that's what really matters in this life is being happy, coming from love, being at peace, being humble, and enjoying things. You know, they the people that control everything want to constantly keep us in a state of heightened fear and and uh, excitement of division that we can't ever like try to figure things out i have been a very very lucky human where i have been able to study massive amounts of information throughout many many years while also performing tasks in the matrix to be able to to provide for myself and others while doing it so i've been kind of lucky like right now you know i'm, I'm able to come on here and help y'all and stuff with my free time because that's what uh what i'm about is helping others charles is the bomb yeah thank you uh metatron Digital is two-dimensional, just like paper. All fiction, nothing new under the sun. That's right. So, so digital electrical signals. You know, I mean, it's it's hard to see electricity. It it really is, especially with our eyes. You know, the the natural light is such a false, tiny little spectrum on the on the visual scale. Look at the spiritual light. Look at the stuff that we can't see. Look look at the the, the spiritual sun. How how much is out there that we can't actually perceive with our natural eyes? Right. It is it is insane when you look at the the vast. And I can guarantee you. That the spectrum that they show us that is the full spectrum and the, and the infrared, the x-ray, the, the blue light, red light, whatever, it's more than that. There's more than that. But if you look at what we can actually visualize, it's like a little tiny little slice, like a, like a human hair on the freaking, the whole thing. It's just very tiny. Uh, Nickel, have you heard anything about using PMAs in agriculture, avoiding FDA? Um, I have not, but uh, here's how that works when it comes to jurisdiction. If the land is owned, or controlled rather, because control is actually what matters. If the land is controlled by the federal government or is registered to the federal government and you don't hold true allodial title to it, then you are subject to all the, the rules, regulations, and, and basically statutes of who owns it and controls it. So if you control true title to the land, then you can do a PMA on it, or you can hail the Republican jurisdiction that is there in the background operating and really how, how it works is the US created like a false uh, laminate layer over top of the whole United States and that's how they operate is through like a false federal jurisdiction clear layer that's like on top of the real thing but they're claiming it that like they, they own the real thing but they don't actually own the land 
they're they compartmentalized stuff they weren't granted true title to the king a lot of it um so if if you can do a PMA. You just got to be careful about what what jurisdiction you're hailing, and you also got to be careful about what kind of property that you are messing and dealing with, so whether or not you control it. Um, SM031 Halloween songs. They use person, citizen, human, but they don't use man or woman. Yes, all day long. Well, you know when you when you're dealing in the legal fiction world, they have definitions for certain things that can trick us up all the time, like person, individual, like understand. I don't change how I speak because there's Black Saw dictionaries out there that say person is a, a human unless I'm speaking to y'all about commerce. I, I call people persons all the time because that's proper you know, English. That's common parlance of how grammatically we're supposed to talk out here in the human world. But when you're dealing with codes, po policy, statutes in the matrix, that is how they define um, their corporations as persons. And, they, and, and we're all tricked by that. We're all tricked by thinking a U.S. citizen is a human, but it's a person. We're all tricked in thinking a national is a human. It's a person. They can only interface with other corporations. Um, sorry, microphone. Citizen, human, person. Oh, I thought I said, <laughs> yeah, I was wondering, Halloween songs use a person? Dang, I don't know how the microphone picked up Halloween, but I, I have looked at my phone and hit, after I hit send, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I did not say that. Because I do not like typing on that tiny little screen. So I'll just, I'll hit talk to text, boom, 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 hit it, boom, next, and then I'll go back and be like, ooh, I did not say that. Uh, thanks for the follow. Uh, Veronica, they want us tethered to the matrix. Yes, because that's how they feed and survive. you got to understand that the machine that is operating on gears and stuff, it has fuel, and we are the fuel. That's what the matrix was about. We are basically deceived into thinking we are U.S. citizens, and we basically give up all of our life force and energy working into a corporation 9 to 5, and we give up 33% of everything we own to the people that control the Federal Reserve note system because the U.S. is bankrupt, and basically owes to the creditors everything that that we uh, send them uh no i do uh act act in, i do not teach how to become a secured party credit no that is not a, a teaching that i teach i teach about status and standing because at the end of the day the the citizen is not your property that state property and if you want to it's all but again guys it's all about what you can prove, right? So in the legal system, all day long, they operate on things that are not truthful, right, or just, right? So if you're going to make a claim, you can get relief by being the secured party creditor. If you know how courtroom mechanics works, how to submit evidence for rules of procedure, how to proper protocols and stuff like that in order to get relief or remedy. But can you do that, right? Any judge that allows you to do that is basically allowing you because you've done a lot of homework, even though it's not a proper process or protocol. But if you bring in a record that trumps the other party's opposing side, then you can you can enforce things, right? You can get remedy, but it's not proper because that state's property. Yes, when you go in there, nobody's going to hop out and say, the U.S. citizen is a corporation and that's state property. Even the attorney that I talked to thought that humans have tax identification numbers, and it was like, are you kidding me? You were taught that humans are taxed? Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what in the world? Uh, I don't talk to many attorneys on, on this kind of level, but he, he was tagged on my video, so I was starting to give him some truth, and, you know, it is what it is. N yeah, NASA stands for not a species. Yeah, the Earth is not a globe, not spinning. That's, and I, I'm taking that position because of my research. I've done a lot of research. Um, SM... They use the term human, person, citizen, but never man, woman. Oh, oh okay, I got you. Uh, I think they define a human as a monster in some of these some of these freaking things. Uh, it is, but not called cryptocurrency on when you're buying. Okay. Uh, user, I didn't mean to say you know nothing. That was. Oh, I thought I thought you said I know a lot or something. Uh. Hey, I'm not going back that far anyway. I thought you said I'm, I'm like I know a lot, but I need to look into the, something the DOAs that, that's, that was new to me and then there was another thing that uh, Black Swan uh, taught me about which was like um, AI executed contracts like I had never heard of that before either you know so I'm like I'm learning too I use AI on my videos to create uh, pictures because I like using one of a kind art that nobody else has you know that way there's no copyright infringement or whatever even though AI created it and man I wish I could say this about good old J-O-E Biden um, about AI use and stuff like that but he's really pushing um, to try to make sure it's known and I even mentioned it on his tweet I saw a tweet where he was like 
yeah, I, I'm starting to pass laws where you, you know you have to release and let everybody know when you're using AI. And I'm like, aren't you going to tell everybody that when you're using it for your face? Um, so uh, quantum alchemy, can you talk about mineral water rights on land? Do you think they absolutely necessary as owner? If you're trying to live on, like off grid, uh, you would want to find a source of water because we can't live long without water. And if you have to buy water, then you're like, oh yeah, you're gonna go there with gold or silver or try to trade with a cow or sheepskin or oil or like wheat or tobacco or something like that. Like, or are you gonna use Federal Reserve note? If you are gonna use Federal Reserve note, how'd you get it? How are you gonna get it? Like, you know, are you, you know? So when it comes to middle rights, water rights. <clears throat> Depending on how the king granted it back in the day, unless it was after the Civil War, and then the uh, the king basically told them that they can start conquering territories and stuff like that, they you know can do certain things. Then the United States Corporation, the federal government, started acquiring things. So, um, if it was granted from the king in the territories before the Civil War, it depends on if the king retained the mineral rights in the land or the water. <clears throat> if they didn't, if he didn't, then it's free and clear. If he retained mineral light mineral rights, then then that title forever was basically not granted full total total allodium. There's still like underlying du duties and obligations to it. Uh all right, Rooster. Are you listening to the weekend? He's a saying I got I got playlists, man. I don't I just just something in the background to keep stuff going on. Um, almost, uh, you think he's a Satan worshiper? Almost, almost all these entertainers cannot be in the positions that they are unless they basically start doing sacrifices and, and doing certain things. Like I've I've watched so many entertainers say that they've been blackballed because they won't they didn't want to go to the next level. You know, in order to get to the levels and keep going, the gatekeepers say that you have to do this or you have to do that, and that's how the whole scheme works of this like you know evil satanic type of. Uh, entertainment industry that we're involved in. Now, what is kind of neat about the entertainment industry is the way it's all set up through karma is they actually have to tell you what they're doing, and they and they do release a lot of stuff through movies. But you have to look through the entertainment part and start to put the puzzle pieces together, like the Matrix, right? The Matrix, like the Wizard of Oz, stuff like that. They're telling you what's going on in the background, but only the people that can put the pieces together can actually figure out what's really going on. But the common sheep are just like they're sitting there eating popcorn, being entertained, right? They're sitting there scratching their butt, like laughing and stuff like that. But if you're able to look at what it actually means, everything's tied together. And a lot of the uh, information put out in movies, and my, one of my old fa favorite teachers, Jack Smith, used to always teach and preach about the true meaning behind a lot of these movies. Like he would always start off his uh, weekend class, I miss him, he would always start off his weekend class talking about a movie or what it means, and then he would get into like the commercial or spiritual stuff. Um, human sea monster, black soul, yep, yeah, there you go. Rooster, Rooster Booster? <laughs> Hold on, Rooster Booster, Bob Dylan, and probably everyone. Yes, that's right, Veronica. Rooster Booster, not everyone, a lot. After they get big and are paid to do it. Yeah, yeah, you can, especially if you do like a private label or you try to do your own thing, um, a lot of radios are paid not to not to play certain things. A lot of uh, corporations and, and stuff like that. Like you you have to do, uh, what did what did Lil Nas do? Yeah, you've got to dress up like a, in drag and do a lap dance on the devil in order to like get to the next to the next level, right? So he's in, he's in the next level now. That's this kind of stuff. That's just what he's doing on the public. Imagine what he's doing in the in the private. Um, what's up, Ja? How you doing? Ja? I don't know if you say Ja again or Ja. I forgot. Uh, SM. All capital letters mean you're dead, right? No. All capital letters is either for a vessel or for a corporation. It's just a corporation that you represent. Um, it's up to you how you sign. You have the unlimited ability to contract, so you can sign and endorse and do restrictive endorsements any way you want. It's up to you all day long. Um, but yeah, all, all caps is dead. Anything you write on a piece of paper is dead. There, there is nothing that you can write on a piece of paper unless you actually have like algae inside of the ink that is living that is going to be alive. Like it is just, it's just ink. I mean, it don't matter how you write it. You can write anything you want. Uh, human sea monster. Yeah, means cannot own property. Yeah, uh, humans, humans can own property. Um, I'm surprised that Black's Law says that, or I don't know where you get that. Uh, sovereigns can control property. That's one of the definitions of sovereign. And we as humans, as fractals of the Creator, are sovereign and can, can control property. But it's up to you um, to go with it from the knowledge from there. Um, use dowsing rod. You'll find. Yeah, I've actually done that to find electrical currents for a transformer or whatever. I used two copper rods. And I wasn't holding them right. I thought somebody was playing a trick on me. When when they first did it, 
I, I thought someone was filming me like it was like one of those pranked videos where they're trying to get me to look like a moron walking around with freaking rods like trying to find some crap but uh, when I when I eased up off of the grip and just allowed it to flow properly, when I got over those power lines, that sucker started. They started moving like this. So it, it's like it is true, and you can do the same thing with water because water uh, creates electricity when it when it moves. And that's, from my understanding, how the pyramids were giant batteries because they had aquifers underneath. And if you break down the structures of the pyramids, not only my research has shown that the pyramids were poured concrete in place one at a time, but the elements that were used were conductive and there's been people that have gone up there with light bulbs and, and they light up and stuff like that and water used to flow underneath of the pyramids and it would create electrical current and they were actually able to send out power to other people and stuff like that but this is technology that they hide and try to keep from the public but if you look up Egyptian light bulb you will see how they used to use it like they used to, if you go into the pyramids there's no soot there is no soot all over the walls from burning torches they had lights they had batteries. Look up the Baghdad battery. Look up the Egyptian light bulb. Like, look at all this technology that's been hidden and keep, kept from us that they don't want us to know. Uh, Florida Mike, what's up, dude? How you doing? Um, can I speak on letters rogatory or declar declaratory judgment? Yeah, that's a, that's a judgment from a higher court that you basically bring into the judge filed, not recorded, filed, that has a judgment from a higher court's decision. To create a judgment that gives some knowledge to bring forward into the case then you have to come into the public and, and, and uh, processes and proceeds to bring to closure and mention and reference the judicial decisions if you don't show up in public to make sure that the judge honors the higher court's decision it's a possibility to just act like it didn't happen but you have to you have to come up there and by reference mention the judgment but it has to basically um, have if there's there can't be an injured party on the other side if the injured party then the, the judgment has to be uh, bringing harmony to the injured party so you have to make sure the claim is squashed whatever the claim is it doesn't matter if it was money or uh, injury or damage or whatever you have to you have to make all parties whole in that situation you can't like hit somebody with a car and then do a um, a letters rogatory and they're still over here hurt and you didn't like satisfy the injured party you know unless you got them into a procedure but i don't ever suggest trying to ever like do something like that that's just not not what i teach so um sm what's the one ex cia guy's name that is really smart about all the legal terminology ah i don't know if you're talking about david win miller i don't think he was ex cia i know he was like in the masons or something I'm not sure. Somebody just sent me like a Facebook guy. I mean, uh, FBI guy I said Facebook. I'm thinking of letters in my my mind. I thought of FB and I forgot the I. It was like Facebook. Um, FBI guy who used to run the FBI to like 1979, and all of the information he was given seemed legit, right? He was talking about all these assassinations, all the stuff the FBI does, saying they were infiltrated by elite Satanists, all this stuff, and they're doing all these things, and it was sounded all good until he was like. I've documented everything and I have it on my website and I'm selling it. And then I was just kind of like, what? Like, I listened to this dude for like eight minutes and I was like, hold up, hold up, let me get this right. You're trying to say that you have inside secrets of everything that the FBI has done, you have documented it, and you're posting it on a public website and selling it? And I'm like, uh, hold up now, something, uh, that was that was like, not just a red flag, that was a huge red flag. Because that's like, they would just take them out. You know, if this was if this was the truth, and this is the FBI who does like stuff all over the freaking world secretly, this dude's just putting on a website all the secret documents, like po posting it out. That's crazy. Um, Aguilera, you're an inspiration. Thank you. I appreciate that. I uh, appreciate you for being on here and trying to learn. Uh, this guys, this uh, live will be on YouTube if you want to watch it, and you can watch it over and over again if you want. Um, appreciate all you guys being on here. Uh, yeah, I had my name changed, the small lowercase letters officially. Yeah, somebody else told me that they did that, but that doesn't matter because a lot of, like, the corporations, like, I had a guy that tried to actually go to a bank and get them to change their name in all lowercase, and they can't. They, they like, the system literally won't let them change. She, she's like, I'm trying. The system won't let me. Look, watch, 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 because that's all they can deal with. When I sign stuff, I sign it in all capital letters because it ain't me. That's somebody else's stuff. Like, it's like, I don't want any liability on that contract, so I'm signing in all capital letters. Like, let let Caesar have what Caesar created, baby. Just give it up all day. Um, SM, there's literally oil everywhere on people's properties. There's gas on people's properties. That's cool. I haven't tried to dig for any of that. Um, 
SM, like all those big cathedrals with points. Ah, oh, yeah, you're talking about Tartarian technology and the technology. That's the atmospheric antenna energy gathering devices, yeah. And I talked on my last live. I watched a video where a guy got behind guards and looked at, if you look at some of these uh, Tartarian uh, building structures, they have uh, balls that are uh, that were below the antenna so a lot of them had very very good knowledge about how the etheric energy worked through antennas and like how different arrangements gather different energy and different frequencies and all that stuff like stuff we have no clue about because we're indoctrinated to be dumb so um if he, he went to one of these old old temples and inside of the ball, you could clearly see there was like there was the copper running through it for the conductive. There was different layers that had different uh, uh, basically capacitance to it. It was a capacitor. It was basically like a storage unit. It was freaking. I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. But I didn't save the video, and I don't know how to find it. And it's like it's probably I'll never see it again, most likely. And I was like, dang, I wish I would have had that. That would have been like gold to put on like freaking TikTok or something. Um, there's one common law court in the United States, and it's in D.C. That's that's interesting. A lot of chancery is done uh, in uh, which call it. You can you can invoke common law in any court, by the way. You can invoke admiralty, common law, um, uh, or equity in uh, almost any court, and they'll honor it. And if you and if you invoke it properly, the judge will actually take his robe off and he'll change the flag. Because the flag will tell you what jurisdiction and venue you're in. Usually, it's in a military, um, uh, uh, mer mercantile type of setting. Uh, David Strait. Yeah, David Strait. He's he's all right. Uh, no injury, but I have them an opportunity to cure to notice. Uh, I, I I got you. Yeah. So if you've if you've done the proper, you know basically procedures for a private administrative procedure and you've gotten all parties whole and you bring that judgment in and you should be straight now having said that sometimes the, the federal government doesn't pl doesn't play very fair you know and they don't care what they do sometimes which is very clear by what they do with in other countries and stuff but thou shalt not kill right um ted gunderson what what why is everybody just speaking names what's going on isn't David Strait and his wife now in prison? They might be. I know that he got arrested for tr trying to travel improperly because he honestly didn't know the, the full dynamics of how to give notice and how to um, basically... I don't know if he held true title over his car. I don't know if he was had given notice. I don't know if he had a fee schedule. I don't know. And then what I just said earlier is a lot of uh, cops and people, when there's, when there's great teachers like me, what they'll do is they'll they'll create a case, even if it's false. They'll just bring up false allegations, post it all in the news, even though he might have been arrested and done everything right. They purposely will do that so that he'll lose all of his followers. Now, David Strait was teaching that there's a do not detain list, but I know there's not a do not detain, detain list. So that that was kind of like a red flag to me. But he was he was teaching that. Um, do I think I think it's possible that Donald Trump is a Scottish Freemason? I, I think I've seen some evidence on that. Um, Donald Trump, to me, is the closest to someone who's been honest about things because I was surprised he, you know, he called the mainstream media fake and stuff like that. So it was very, it was kind of refreshing, and I think he did some stuff for the republic and stuff like that. But I, I don't, I don't know him. Like I haven't hung out, I haven't drank beer with him. I've seen weird videos where he was hitting on a chick or something. Like that, but you know, he's a dude, you know. But he, and he's got a, a crazy mouth like me. But I, I don't, I don't know the guy. Like I can't vouch for him, but he seemed he seemed to be from what I've seen in my gathering, he seemed to be trying very hard. I don't know if he was opposed opposition or paid for or whatever, to be trying to establish great stuff um, and helped a lot of children from trafficking and all kinds of things. Um, all right, is a state court? Oh, cool. All right, Florida. I thought it was Fed. I didn't, I don't remember. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. You should be good. You should be good. Seth Smith, he's not. Bonnie is. Oh, Bonnie's in jail? What'd she do? Dang. Uh, he says her attorney signed before she could fire him. <laughs> yeah, but you have three days to rescind for a con through a contract, even if your attorney signed for it, because they're there to represent the U.S. citizen. Um, love Donald Trump. Got some bad things, but I think he's turned on them. Yeah. I, you know, out, out of out of all of the the basically paid for advertisers and actors that I've seen, he, he seems to be somewhat out of the box. I mean, and that's how Elon Musk fools a lot of people too, because everybody's like, oh, he's this great guy that came in and took Twitter and given all this free information and stuff. Like, and I, yeah, but then he's also wearing satanic jackets. You know what I'm saying? And he also thinks that space is real. You know, and it's kind of like so that you know stuff just ain't really kind of adding up in certain ways. But I, you know, I don't know. Um, 
Can you please elaborate on the new maritime law co-signing new international law? I could if I had any clue what that meant. I would have to look that up. I'm not super familiar with Admiralty. I know I have Admiralty dictionaries. Uh, I, I'm not super versed in Admiralty maritime law. I know a lot of our terminology and the way we operate is uh, acting as if maritime law has been brought on the land. Um, you know, but I'm just not super proficient in, in maritime law. Uh, he's either one good, yeah, or legitimate, yeah. I, you know, one or the other. It's one of them. You're right. Or it could be both. <laughs> it could be acting like he's something. Else. Um, we might see him end it just like that. So that was the other thing that came to my question, right? Because when uh, Jay Donald supported the juice, uh, if not AI did, because I've watched videos where you know somebody could take my face and say anything with my voice that they want to fool anybody. Like it's that easy, just like that. Um, and I don't know if it, this was AI or if it was actually Donald, but he was supporting the juice and he signed stuff for the juice. And I was kind of like, that seemed kind of, I, I was either thinking that he was being fed false information, but that surprised me from someone of his caliber. So, you know, I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh, that and uh, the other thing, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there was a book that I thought was very interesting that said Donald, it was called The Adventures of Baron Trump. I haven't seen this for myself, but this is third party what I've heard and said in the Baron Trump uh, saga. It said that somebody named Baron Trump was going to be the last president of a corporation. Guess what? And that sounds kind of weird because right after, you know, stuff flim flam, false floppy joe, all kinds of crazy stuff happened. Um, all right, guys, I'm about to I'm about to end this live. I've been on here for like my feet are hurting because I've been standing for so long. But at least I know I'm good for like an hour. Um, I should have put on some like uh, I shouldn't have just gone on my socks because uh, I got to kind of squat down a little bit. My mic is kind of low. I need like a taller mic. Um, well, those are Zionist ones, Israel. Uh, so where could I find a great example on your site? Uh, I don't I don't think I have an example of a letters rogatory. Um, I think you'd have to go in equity to try to figure that out. Uh, yes, yeah, I am this cancerous word, Ross Child. All right, guys. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the likes. This live will be on YouTube. Um, my YouTube is linked on my profile page on uh, TikTok through my website. You go on my website, you'll see all of my social media links. You can watch this on YouTube. You can listen to the audio on Telegram group. You can look at all the free information I have on my website. I hope all of y'all have a great, uh, basically, weekend and enjoy yourselves and be happy and in love and in peace and in harmony. And continue to educate. Thanks for joining this live and the shares and likes and follows and stuff so i will catch y'all again i try to come on here every week so i will come uh help y'all again anyway enjoy your weekend i will see y'all later